Ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, listen, bro, we already know that y'all done touched some things, man. We got radio silence from all of the people out there in 2K land that actually make the decisions and press the buttons and do, 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 do all of that, man. But all of y'all been telling me, Tay, 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 they changed some stuff. They definitely changed some stuff. And I, I agree with y'all, man. They definitely changed some stuff, man. We gonna talk about all of that in this video today, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment change down below. That's gonna do two things for y'all, man. Number one, every single Friday, we give away $50 in Visa. See cash out or we go away a copy of a video game of your choice to whomever wins number two if we can average 8k views we're slipping a little bit but y'all can get us back up there man we're giving away uh a next gen console whether it be an xbox a playstation or it could be a laptop or 500 bucks whatever you want man we know how time we know what type of times we in man everybody with when the, in the times where cereal is seven dollars a box we already know what time it is, man. Last but not least, the bots are trying to make a resurgence. I went back and banned a lot of them today. They're trying to tell y'all about these different websites, telling y'all I'm on Telegram and that I'm putting my phone number down there. I'm not doing any of that. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Black Planet, and as of the other day, I'm on the Tiki Taki, man. So make sure y'all like the video, comment change down below, follow me on the Tiki Taki, and with all that out of the way, good morning out there, it's okay. Man, listen, bro, I know it ain't more than I already know, man. But this is something that I want to tell y'all, man. I tell y'all this every single day. Love you, need you. And if nobody else told you this, you my brother, you my sister, and I love you. I love you to death, man. But up first, we got that boy, EV, that guy. And he says something that I like to tell people all the time. A lot of y'all out there are cool as heck in real life. These online and Twitter personalities need to stop. And that's a fact, man. Just be yourself and we gonna love you regardless. I promise you that. And like I said, if ain't nobody else told you today, I love you, my brother or my sister, whichever, whatever you, whatever, who was watching this joint, man. And uh, like a lot of people are saying, man, they're agreeing with that, man. They say, hey, dude, right here, he says, this is one of the best ones right here. That's a fact. I keep saying this community could be so much better if the quote unquote killer personalities go away and people just focus on lifting, lifting each other and, um, and compete. It would be great for all. And that's just a fact, bro. We we gotta stop with all the somebody lose a game and next thing you know they gon' they talking about they they ready to burn something that like bro what? You you don't know what I am in the street. Like bro, I don't care. I don't care. You don't know how much time I done did. I don't care. Shut the f up. Shut the f up, bro. This is something that one of my guys, Russell Dean, told me a long time ago. Everybody be wanna talk about how much time they done did and be proud to say they done done this and that. I'm proud to say I never done that and never had to and that I've always walked the straight and narrow. Well, I would like to be able to say that, but I can't. And the fact that I can't say that, it, 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 it's troubling to me to this day, man. Y'all never know, especially in this day of internet when something's gonna come up and you know, somebody gonna pull them tweets. Listen, man, be careful what you're doing, bro, because because them tweets, they pull them up. They, well, job interviews, all that stuff, man, you put the wrong email address on there or, or should I say the right e e email address on there? Bro, my homeboy said said that one person came on there and it's like, they asked for the email. It was westside at gmail.com. Yes, westside at gmail.com. Like, bro, how you gonna put that on your job email, bro? And then, you know what I'm saying? They can pull up all your stuff. And like a lot of times before they um before they hire you, they go look at your, and I know, cause I used to work at a law firm. Bro, on cases, they look at your social media. And this is back in like 2009 when, when it first started. Bro, dude, was, like, they look at all your stuff, man. That's, that's all I can tell you. Don't be out there talking crazy cause anybody can pull it up at any time and you know, something like that. So it is what it is. Up next, we got that boy Moi saying, being a content creator can be a lonely road. Your IRL friends might not understand why you gotta work on a video and spend hours editing. Not only, that, we gonna talk about that in a second. So, I would hope you find a group of content creator friends to grind and blow up with together uh, this year. I ain't a lot of y'all, bro. It's tough, man, it's tough. Uh, like you said, even with that being married, all of that stuff, man, I'm gonna tell you straight up, bro. It's tough because not, not only do your friends not understand, but we don't even really care about the friends. It's, it's your wife, family, all of them, it's tough. My little boy don't understand sometimes. Like you said, y'all know LJ Artistic. Sometimes I can't even tell him you can't just walk in here and walk through the back of the room and start doing all type of stuff because I'm daddy's doing a video or whatever. And then if I do tell him that he gets hurt and he'll be, sometimes he'll be like, daddy's doing a video. Last night, this boy, I was working on that video for y'all last night and I didn't, I wasn't thinking about it. This boy stayed up literally an hour and a half. And when I got finished and said, okay, the video's done, he come out the room talking about, uh, 
I got to give daddy his good night kiss before I go to, you know, I can't, he can't go to sleep. So a lot of the stuff that we don't even think about, like I have to deal, like I said, man, being a content creator growing up, especially, especially with anything and you got a child with special needs, it is extremely difficult because like you said, he was, he went in his room and went to bed and act like he was asleep. But as soon as I walked out, he's like, got to get daddy's kiss. Pew. And I'm just like, dang, it hurt so bad. Cause I didn't even think about it. And I didn't even realize it was his bedtime or whatever. So it, it's tough, man. Wife don't understand half the time because it's like, shouldn't we be doing this? We went on vacation in June. You know how, I mean, July last year, you know how much 2K news I missed out. It's hard to tell somebody, listen, I'm going to miss out on a lot of stuff. And this could, this could, plot the trajectory of my channel for the rest of the year because I'm missing out on this news and I can't get in the algorithm. And so next month, I'm going to have to be building up instead of already being up. Bro, it's crazy, man. And it's like, well, can't you just do this? No, I can't do it because the a lot of the videos that me and Brute do are time sensitive. If we don't do them that day, they're not relevant tomorrow. So it's very difficult to do that, man. It is tough. It is lonely. And But hey, uh, just like uh, Gibby said, I love what I do. So it is what it is. Up next, we got that boy Jumpman Jerm talking about fun facts. You can play the 1v1v1 in 2K16 and 17, man. Hey, man, that joint used to be some of the most fun you could possibly have on them rooftops. 1v1v1, bro, it was so dope. In 2K16 and 17, I mean, it took you like a year to get into a game, but when you finally got in there, you was out there, man. I wish they would bring that back in some way, shape, form, or fashion, but it was always fun, and uh, I thought it was a dope dope game mode. Brute used to stay on those, and I'll probably, if, if it were me, I would probably get a lot of my points uh, off of that, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, I broke a controller one time in 2K16 uh, one time, because the dude just kept doing the same. He had no dribble moves, bro, and the game just le kept letting him run to the left and uh, spin back right, and then he just hit the button and dunk because he had uh, he had crazy dunk. Up next, we got that boy Spam 101. Happy birthday to me, blessed to live another year. We blessed to live another second, my G, I ain't gonna lie. So happy birthday to you, young man. Do your thing, young man, do your thing. That boy Solo says, uh, level 20 cart reward in season, <laughs> in season four uh, was copy and pasted from 22. Look at the back of the go-kart. Jesus Christ! And what he's talking about is, he's just talking about right here, you see, uh, you see right here, it literally says 2K22 right here. So they called in 4K right there. Called in 4K, baby. So you know it is what it is. My boy, hey, we got to do an interview with him one day this week, man. My boy, Big Dog, man, I go check his channel out. Link in the description. Hey, he says, oh, too easy. Hey. It is what it is, man. Hey, he said he out there doing his thing. And then now what we're here to talk about, the people that are our man, the people that are talking about all this stuff, man, about how the uh, how 2K loves to come in, not tell us what they did, secretly patch things, and then move on like that, man. We're talking about the jump shots or the lack thereof out there today, man. And I ain't gonna lie, man. We already know they testing jump shots. I've told y'all last night, I gave y'all an excellent video on how to make sure that you're hitting more jump shots and how to read if you're gonna get the fast or the slow joint, all this stuff, man. Make sure y'all go check that out, like that up. That's gonna be one that we're gonna select from this Friday or one of the ones that we're gonna select from Friday uh, to give out one of these prizes, man. So y'all make sure y'all do that. But hey, we just gonna start it right off with CC. Do, hey, CC, she says, Anybody else finding it a lot harder to shoot since the recent patch or what? Now, I'm not gonna lie. It is harder. It is harder to shoot or it's just more inconsistent. It's not harder to shoot. It's much more inconsistent. But like this guy one here, one here says, nah, uh, I still hit red contest. Shh. And that's the thing right there, bro. It's like he he's right, it's right. It is inconsistent, but at the very same time, those contested shots are going in at an alarming rate, bro. Like you just, like I see it says, you can just really shoot through a contest. And the reason that I feel like it is that is because of this. When you really think about it, when somebody contests you in the uh, on the on the last you know, a couple weeks ago, when people were contesting you, you would get contested and your shot would speed up. Now your shot is staying the same speed when somebody contests you. So maybe that's why it feels like so those opens you had to you have to speed up a little bit on you don't even have to speed up on them anymore bro you just sit there and you just shoot it the same way you just shoot right through the contestant you're good to go so you know uh that's what we at with it hey that girl lady go crazy she says is it, is it me or did the shooting get touched and the timing is super different and the timing is not the same i've been missing all day and someone with no takeover dunks on <laughs> dunks on rim takeover i don't know but 
something strange is happening and she's right about that bro that's how it is but and, and i mean it just is what it is 2k always comes through and makes a change we got other people out there saying shooting is so inconsistent hashtag 2k 23 this was uh this was uh yesterday then we got somebody uh 100k he says y'all uh do y'all feel a difference with the shooting 85 percent say yes uh 14 percent say no that's not a big sample size it's only seven votes but hey it's all we got right now man somebody else should have said something hey that boy nick says who messed with the shooting sliders in the park and i'm not gonna lie to you that's where it really seems to be the most inconsistent is in the park and i know a lot of people only play parking stage but like i showed y'all last night in the wreck it seems a lot more consistent and in those warehouses or what have you in the theater it seems a lot more consistent but in the park and the actual um the park Bro, it seems so inconsistent. But stage and pro, I mean, pro and parking stage seems so inconsistent. Pro air seems like it's cool. Rex seems like it's cool, man. But they still are having some issues because, like you said, when you shoot at people and they're right there, like that right there, that's that that said late, but I felt like I shot it on time. It, it, it was what it was, man. But hey, that's a, that's how the thing goes. Up next, we got uh, what, what, the boy uh say, uh, Baluba. Uh, he says. At Baluba, are you gonna revert the change so the change you secretly made to shooting in season four or just keep lying to us about it? Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Lie is a strong word. I don't know. Well, lie is a strong word unless we're talking about X Lie, you know, one of the best players in the community. But lie is a strong word, man. Just say, maybe just, just say, just, a, just keep avoiding uh talking to us about it man stuff like that i don't know what you could really say hey this one this uh, this ain't got nothing to do with it but it just was funny imagine making a three-point shot creator with uh shooting and shot creating take and not take a single shot or uh, not take a single three in a whole game just rim running some of y'all are lame af hey i ain't gonna lie about that man that's how i be though i ain't gonna Cap, my boy. It just be like that sometimes. Some people just, they make those bills to not shoot and then be like, man, I do smart stuff like that too. They make the bills so you have to close out on them and then they just go try to dunk the basketball over and over. And this is what Lady Go Braze was talking about when she was talking about the uh, the contested stuff like that. Like people just going up, you get pulled out of that joint and then they still just go on up with it. Here's another one right here. You jump and they just lay the ball over, lay the ball up right over you, man. It's like, filet, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. And then that boy P uh, Poochie, he just says, 2K, fix the shooting. The shooting sucks. It's horrible. Um, it's horrible. <laughs> Adjust the meters, man. And so he's just talking about the meters or whatever like that. I just feel like it's crazy just that we even having this conversation in January. But like Bruce said in his video earlier, bro, they a lot of times uh they hit the they, they probably have hit the easy button. When they put the game out, the game is challenging. Then they hit some, they make a couple of changes. So now you're seeing, uh, you're seeing a lot of slightly go in. You're seeing a lot of stuff go in, man. And um, and people that weren't able to shoot, they able to shoot. And then, like I said, it makes it a little bit inconsistent for everybody else. But you can shoot contested and hit a lot of contested shots. A lot of people, um, you know, they might like it. They might not like it. But, hey, it just is what it is. This is where we at right there. Like, right there, I shot both of those. Like, I don't know why it is in the park. It, it's like that. In the in Pro-Am, if, if he catches it up here, he shoots from up here. In park, he can catch it up here, and he'll still go down. He just won't go up with it sometimes. It's just very inconsistent uh, when that's going to happen. I was, I was able to, uh, you know, but like I said, in Pro-Am, it seems like it's better or whatever like that. And like we said, Gambit was missing shots. So we know it wasn't just us. I felt better. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Did they touch shooting and they just haven't told us anything? Or is it just all in our minds, this placebo effect? I feel like it's been touched a little. It's not impossible. It's nothing I can't get used to. But yesterday being my first time playing in quite some time, it just felt kind of weird, man. You know, it just was what it was. And uh, last but not least, man, check these out, bro. Hey, somebody, I don't know why the rap house be putting this stuff out. What are you doing in this situation? Look, bro, this is a Loomis person. I used to work for a company that dispatched Loomis. And we, um, I used to work for NCR. I used to work for NCR in two capacities. I started off building the ATMs and then I moved into the uh, corporate office where uh, I moved up into IT. But before that, my first step was a dispatch uh, uh, field service coordinator, whatever they call it. And I used to, I used to, um, I used to dispatch these guys. And sometimes Loomis would have to, uh, have to, you know, go get the stuff. Uh, open up ATM. Sometimes the NCR tech will have to. This woman right here got a pistol on her hip, and I guarantee they're not showing the guard that's standing behind her. That's also security. Uh, and if the people just go fix the machine, they have armed security with them. So she's she's emptying out the machine though. But but um or or she's filling it. She's doing one of the two. But she got a pistol on her hip. 
they're not showing the guard that's behind her. And I don't know if y'all can see this wheel right here, but this wheel right here is an armored truck with two more in it. At least, at least two more is in there with some heavy artillery. Listen, bro, leave that alone or you're gonna end up looking like this right here. Here's what you're gonna end up looking like. Ah, get up, mother Woo, mother get up. Hey, that's what you're gonna end up looking like right there, bro. I don't even know how you just go, like, bro, he on his hip and he just get disregarded like that. He just go straight to the ring. I'm talking about if Rack was a person, hey, we need to get him in Rack Nation, bro. I don't know. You right there the whole time. I'm there the whole, bro. You like, like, uh, Marshawn Lynch, bro. I was there the whole time. I mean, you're not just gonna dunk on me and walk through me like that and think it's gonna be all okay. I'll uh, be all good after that, man. But hey, it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Did dude just get straight disrespected or what? And do you know anything about the Loomis? Because I know them bag people. I ain't never seen one bag man by himself. I'm just going to keep it a stack with you. I've never seen one of those one bag man by himself. And my dog worked for them boys driving the armored truck. He already know what time it is. Like, it's, it's bro, it's just like the, uh, it's just like what's it called it and the apprentice. It's always two of them, at least. Uh, what is it called? The, um, like, like, not Jedi Knights, but the other ones. The Sith. It's always two, man. So you might not have seen him in that frame, but I guarantee he's seen you. Anyway, man, let me get up out of here, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the show, man. Make sure y'all like the video and comment down below, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, speak.